Rising temperatures, ocean acidification, now a new threat to Maine lobsters and the people who depend on them. New research from the Bigelow Lab for Ocean Sciences finds microplastics in the sea can impact lobster growth. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, microplastics come from a variety of sources. That includes larger plastic debris that breaks down into smaller pieces. Other plastics are designed to be small. Microbeads are used in many health and beauty products. They pass unchanged through waterways into the ocean. And according to NOAA, scientists think about 8 million metric tons of plastic enter the ocean every year. That's roughly the weight of 90 aircraft carriers. The Ocean Conservancy found that in just a few years, we might end up with a pound of plastic for every three pounds of fish in the sea. NECN's Dustin Vladkowski has more on what that means for Maine's lobster industry. Most of the time we think of lobsters like this, steamed red on a plate. But at the beginning of their lives, they're itty bitty lobster babies, swimming, growing gills, legs and mouths in the topmost part of the sea. The same place microplastics, plastic particles five millimeters or smaller, are found. Plastics are light, they're less dense than seawater. They're going to float to the surface, which is exactly where these lobster larvae live. Until now, there wasn't as clear a picture of what these tiny broken down pieces of everything from fishing gear to plastic bags would have on lobsters. After following up on a challenge from someone in the public, the Bigelow scientists found out the larvae do eat microplastics, accumulating them in their bodies to the point it affects their breathing. If any organism cannot breathe very well, I'm not going to grow very well. For years now, the number of lobsters growing to a size for fishing and eating has gone down, attributed by research to rapidly warming waters. Ocean acidification, microplastics amplify those threats. May have a stronger effect. Unfortunately, fixing this problem isn't as easy as saying, let's pull all the plastic bottles out of the ocean. The microplastics are so small and so numerous, there's no easy way to get rid of them. Even if we were to get rid of all the larger plastics, so this issue of microplastics is not going anywhere. That's why Dr. Matrai says we have to think about how much plastic we're using now, cut down on it, and most of all, keep it out of the ocean. Reduce reuse, remove, and re-educate. At the current time, I don't know of any other alternative. In Portland, Dustin Blikowski, New Center, Maine. According to its website, researchers at Bigelow Laboratory are particularly interested in how this plastic pollution may compound with other environmental stressors that ocean life faces. And if you'd like to learn more about the work at Bigelow Labs, you can head to their website. It's bigelow.org.